Let's build a sound reactive flame tube. We're going to run a propane source through a perforated metal tube and then add an audio source. When we light this, it'll create an interesting flame effect. First things first, let's build this classic physics experiment. I started by taking a two foot long metal tube and marked drilling holes every half of an inch. This will allow enough space between each flame column. Next, we're gonna need an escape point for the propane. So I pressed the marks with a 1 16th inch titanium drill bit. The next ingredient is the gas nozzle. I drilled another hole slightly smaller than the nozzle into a metal end cap. Then I pounded the nozzle in with a hammer. The tight fit helps to prevent any possible leaks. The cap was then placed on the end of the tube along with the gas fuel line. I'll hook this fuel line up to the propane later. Finally, I took an old computer speaker and bonded it to the other end of the tube with aluminum tape. This formed a great seal. Final product looks like this. The amazing thing is that this design is actually over 100 years old. It's been called a standing wave tube, flame tube, or more commonly, the Rubens tube. Now let's throw some sound at it and see what sticks. I hooked up a synthesizer to the speaker and tested out various frequencies and sounds. When the sound wave hits the gas-filled tube, the pressure changes inside, creating a visualization of flames. Okay, now let's see what happens if we throw a little dubstep at it. If you want to see more tests we did with the flame tube, click one of these links.